before we get started this week, I just want to point out that um, after I did my update last week, someone chimed in and let me know that the map that we're all familiar with for the build out of this network with the dots right over here with all these locations, um, someone went through and actually counted the dots and it mentions 500 location, but there's not 500 dots. What we're looking at is approximately 250 locations of the goal of 500. So this map is not actually complete. Just this week, uh, EVGO updated their website to have this map, which is newer. And if you look at the legend, uh, we have current GM pilot flying J locations down here and potential GM flying J locations here with these two different icons. These other icons are existing EVGO stations or coming EVGO stations, but it's helpful to have the uh, state lines, I find, because on the initial map, if you look, it's just the United States with some squiggly lines indicating major routes, but it's a little bit difficult to specify where each one of these dots are. However, on the new EVGO map, it's a little bit easier to dial in which one of these um, specific Pilot Flying J locations there are. So feel free to go over to the EVGO website, take a look at their uh, map coverage with the update of Pilot Flying J locations specified. And there is a disclaimer here saying that these are proposed locations. These aren't actual locations, except for the ones that are red. Those are actual locations. Okay, a couple of things happened this week. I'm going to start off with uh, this map, which again is an EVGO uh, graphic off their website. Out of Spec Podcasts recently did an episode on EVGO uh, per kilowatt hour pricing uh, policies. And this map shows where EVGO is now charging per kilowatt hour in instead of... Uh, per uh, minute. Uh, so because of regulations associated with the sale of electricity, some states do not allow people besides regulated utilities to sell electricity per kilowatt hour. That's reserved just for the utilities. But with the advent of electric vehicles and DC fast charging, states are slowly starting to uh, loosen those regulations and allow DC fast charger uh, companies to sell electricity by kilowatt hour because it's a more fair way of billing customers uh, in electric vehicles. So any state uh, that has the exclamation point is per kilowatt hour. This is helpful because Pilot Flying J is a national brand and I've noticed that the locations in Tennessee are billing by minute. Uh, the low state locations in Virginia and um, Ohio are billing per kilowatt hour. And after I saw the Out of Spec uh, podcast episode over this, it suddenly all made sense. So this is a good infograph to reference concerning the pricing. Now, the uh, episode on Out of Spec podcast also touched... Uh, something called time of use uh, billing, which uh, if you want to see what it looks like in the state of North Carolina, it's right here. This is the state of North Carolina time of use for EVGO. Now, Pilot Flying J locations are EVGO Extend locations, meaning that it's a partnership. Uh, and so EVGO time of use rates do not apply. To Pilot Flying J. Pilot Flying J sets their own rates. However, they are governed by this map. So this will be helpful to let you know if you pull up to a Pilot Flying J location and you see that uh, billing is per minute, uh, you're likely in one of these grayed out states. Also this week, uh, YouTuber Zero E Michigan did a site visit of the uh, Toledo location, uh, which is right here. And there's actually a few locations that are coming online. And let me go to my main sheet here. Um, Zero E Michigan. So it's a really nice video. Um, very 
crisp 4K recording and good commentary. You could tell that when he got there, he echoed the sentiment of multiple other people in PlugShare chiming in saying these are some of the best EV charging locations they've ever, ever been to. And I'm not cherry picking off PlugShare comments either. Feel free to go on PlugShare yourself and you'll see there's people chiming in basically as a chorus saying these are some of the best EV charging locations they've ever been to. Uh, canopies, windshield squeegees, open 24-7, 365, clean restrooms. I don't know if anyone's been in a Tesla and pulled into a supercharger and an adjoining um, establishment has restrooms and you're wondering if it's okay to use them and sometimes you walk into them and there's signs saying for patrons only only for customers um no tesla whatever and uh, you have to you know go find somewhere else to go to the restroom here you're actually a customer of the facility so you can walk in and uh they actually sometimes have lounges where you could sit back and watch tv uh get yourself a cup of coffee some soda uh trash cans that are maintained by the staff uh, some Tesla superchargers have tra trash cans, but those are not maintained by the property staff. Those are maintained typically by uh, Tesla owner clubs in the vicinity. Uh, so just one amenity after another at these locations. And the comments in PlugShare and by Zero E Michigan concerning, you know, a canopy over a charging station, 24-7, um, 365 facilities, um, waste cans and windshield squeegees these are just really nice charging locations so i encourage you to go see uh, that site visit video as well which i will link down below in the description um one thing i have noticed and before i go into the overall report we do have one additional site is that we are still at two percent we are more than a month in and unless they're going to be doing these in really large waves um, is pretty clear that the trajectory of this project implementation is going to be years. Uh, if they're going to try to get to 500, and we've only done 10, and it's been almost a month since we've seen any progress ticking off at all, uh, this is going to take a long time. Um, by my rough calculations, we're looking at somewhere between four and five years, unless there's some very significant inertia that starts picking up on these. As I said, there was an additional location found. Uh, let me see if I can find it right here. Ottawa Lake, Michigan. It's the first one in Michigan, north of Toledo. Uh, moved from the under construction to the now um, open and available uh, category. A couple others have been spotted under construction. Um, we have the one in Oklahoma near the Texas Panhandle. Uh, we have one kind of near Orlando um, that was spotted under construction. Uh, let's see if any of these other ones are new. I think these other ones are same from the last. So two new ones spotted under construction. One moved from under construction to in service. And the state funding is unchanged along with the uh, pictures. So that's my update for this week. If you happen by a Pilot Flying J, feel free to you know, check out the EVgo graph to see if it's one of the ones that are listed here. And if you're swinging by, check to see if there's any um, asphalt getting dug up or if there's new chargers in place or maybe a new Altium canopy around. You're likely gonna be the first electric vehicle person to see that. And uh, if you do, feel free to let me know or put it on PlugShare. I'll probably pick it up there because I do sweeps uh, once every couple days or so uh, just to see what's new out there. Anyway, thanks for watching.